These are 10 top examples on how you can pick a niche that's less saturated and dominate it. Welcome to my channel, my name is Jade. If you're new here, make sure you like this video and subscribe, I post your videos here every single day. We're here in San Jose, heading up to, I think, Sausalito for a meeting, and then we are going to meet a few friends along the way. Honestly, how shitty was breakfast on a scale of one to shitty? We're going to McDonald's, that's how shitty it is. We're going to McDonald's, that's how shitty it was. This is our rental car. We're skirt skirting over to San Francisco, which is like a two hour drive, so this should be fun. I'm not sure what today's video is gonna be, but probably something about Instagram. <laughs> I'm gonna milk this subject until there's nothing to milk about. I wanted to just let you know, thinking about a little fam squad name, and some of you were commenting Jade Squad. Some of you were commenting Dharma Family. I don't know what to do, just because it's a pretty cool name. So if you wanna comment below, the most less cringe of a name. I'm just curious, okay? Okay. We are officially two hours in, and there's still another an hour and a half to travel. Dude, I did not expect San Francisco to be this big. But yeah, meeting's at 11.30, and it's with a bike company here in San Francisco. I will catch you guys after, and then we're gonna have, I think, lunch with Brennan. I'll show you guys, he's an awesome entrepreneur, e-commerce dude. I think that's all for the agenda. Like, this is our last day here in San Francisco. Tomorrow we have a flight, and honestly, I'm ready to go home. I feel like I'm not working hard enough all the time, so when I'm traveling, I feel like, God, I'm too, Jade, you're a piece of you're not even relaxing, but I feel like I want to work so much and I want to go back home it Sounds really weird, but I want to go back home to work <laughs> And I want to go back home to make more videos and I miss my mom. Hey mom Hi. Mom, where are you at? So we're leaving tomorrow morning, um, but I will enjoy the rest of the day. It's very hard for me Like I just like working We're here at the meeting. It's right over there in Sausalito. I might have to hide you guys. You can't really come in. Dad's ready to close this deal. We are here in Sausalito. It's quite beautiful here. The meeting went on for a long time, so we're hungry. And I think we're gonna take some pictures here or do some cinematic things. We just took some pictures in San Francisco. It was quite beautiful. We're about to head back home. Okay, so today we're doing car chats with Jade. I'm not sure what this is really. I went to a Phil's Coffee. If you guys know that, it's like very popular for a lot of YouTubers. I'm very picky. If you guys see in my last episodes, I just don't, I'm just very critical with coffee. So let's just do this. I like it. I think it's very good. I think it can use a little bit more cream, a little more sweeter, but I do like how it's really nice and smooth. So yeah, thumbs up, Phil's pretty great, pretty great. All right. Listen guys, I had a coaching call. It was interesting. Not having any struggles and getting on entertainment. You have three million watch time. You're on the right track. Sorry, let me just. <laughs> I wanted to walk over through basics of picking a niche because every single comment I get is, how do I find my niche, Jade? Is my niche, meh, meh. I don't know how to make it smaller. So ideally you need all of these three things, okay? Is the group of people or niche you're selecting big enough to sustain you? Is it profitable enough? And can you actually help them? Very interesting how people are so general. That's not a niche, man. That's just called like your genre, okay? A niche is a selective group of audience, but people also get into the mistake of getting into a niche that's way too small. Today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10. I will list the top five and explain it here. And if you wanna hear the rest, I have my Medium blog below. It's just a way for you to read and consume content on my blog. So many of you guys have been saying how shitty my website is, so I'm stepping it up. And I'm just gonna go over the top five that follow these criteria. Right, Dad? Yes. I'm giving you the top five like less saturated niches, but they're only gonna be good if you can actually help these people. I put that at the very end to emphasize how if you have a product, it will not help you at all, okay? These are 10 top examples on how you can pick a niche that's less saturated and dominate it because it's just less popular. And I think 2018 is gonna be a good year. One, accounts that talk about how to create content for content creators. You know, you can think about Peter McKinnon, but there's not many Peter McKinnons on Instagram. Everyone's a freaking shout out page. No one's actually giving value in tutorials. If you're into videography, I feel like that's a good niche. Second, Eating recovery and health, like fitness, but for relatable people, not your Instagram model, just for regular everyday people. If you're, you know, in recovery from an eating disorder, I had a friend that's just gonna, I just know she's gonna dominate it because she's so genuine and special. Keep in mind, don't do something that doesn't apply to you, but there's a lot of people who are in fitness but aren't relatable, and it's really hard for the regular consumer to just like 
be okay with like a model you know like some people really need relatable everyday influencers third one i think there needs to be more our channels or just audiences that target just ethnic background maybe like growing up with the psychology of growing up with like asian parents or just tough parents in general helping kids who struggle with high stress i think is a niche because right now there's a lot of vloggers that don't do for people and they just talk about their life i think it'll be cool to see more like psychology channels i think that'd be nice my fourth one is people who have health problems there's some people with genuine like i have asthma some people have eczema some people have some serious health conditions i think it'd be cool if more people stepped up to their like an insecurity i think it'd be cool to see more people create content around that so it could help i don't know i feel like there are people with genuine health issues that are already doing that but for more of like the smaller relatable things like asthma like i wanted someone to be my asthma role figure when i was going through a lot of uh, breathing problems but there wasn't many so i don't know if you have health problems i think you could double down on what makes you different um the fifth thing is how to make money but for everyday people and not the extreme like for example i probably am not the best example just because i'm like obsessed with selling and creating and like other things and all my time is spent on this but for the everyday teenager that doesn't do drop shipping 24 7 i think it'd be cool to see wealth creation for more relatable people so there's gonna be top five more in the description box and i don't know like these are just things that came up with my head that i would totally do but right now i'm in the more like wealth creation in social media niche which is hard to find for also relatable people anyways i think the, there's a pattern if you could see and it's are you being relatable enough for the people you're trying to help? If you're too high up there, you might as well just be like a public figure and it's hard for people to join the journey where there's no epiphany bridge. There's no bridge between your story and their story. I think that's something you can just like consume and that's really fun. That's why a lot of YouTubers that are vloggers do well just because they are so relatable, but it's also harder to grow and scale just because man, like with the new algorithm or whatever YouTube monetization requirements, I think it's harder for vloggers to grow as long as you have a a brand story and you're able to pick maybe an audience that's big enough like all the audiences i just said are really big and they're able to sustain you and they're super profitable in many different ways and it's up to you how you want to monetize your content or not so yeah that's what i came up with i will have the top five in the description box one of my writers is going to help me with a medium blog it will be up by the time this uploads hopefully if not just stay tuned congratulations to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. By the way, and if you want to be the next comment winner, I want to know your current niche. Just let me know if you have one. And if it's too small, it will damage you, by the way. So make sure it's big enough to sustain you and there's no, there's enough people. Because the last thing you want to do is pick a niche that has like 10 people and you're stuck with those 10 people. And you have to keep selling to those 10 people. It's great to have a big enough audience. So if one person passes on your product, you have the next one to go to. I think that's just the most important thing. It's a numbers game, buddy. Or honey. I have so many emails to go through. So the rest of the night, I will be working and getting stuff done. I hope you have an amazing day. It was a beautiful day in San Francisco. Oh, by the way, if you were catching up with the vlog, I didn't end up seeing Brennan. I'm so tired. I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.